Alex. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my fashion collection video. It is going to be the first video in this series where I'm going to go over all the stuff that's in my closet, drawers, whatever. Um, but the first several are going to be special versions. They're going to be part of my vegan transition. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm going through my closet and pretty much decluttering, getting rid of anything that is not vegan friendly. And I'm trying to get all of this done before I move. And I realized we have one more weekend left here. And then that following weekend, we are moving out. It is so crazy. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so I figured I'd just start showing you guys my fashion collection. So I'm going to go through everything that I'm decluttering. And then down the road, I'll just show you, you know, some more stuff um, that's in my closet. So yeah, more to come. So before we get started, I wanted to do the beauty question in the video. And today's question is, what do you think is a summer essential, like a fashion summer essential, whether it be accessories, clothing, and whatnot? I would say high-waisted shorts, and that's what I'm wearing right now. Like high-waisted shorts with a crop top I just think that is so in right now and it's super comfy and it's a way where you can show midriff without having to have like your belly hang out like but yeah I just really love the combination of high-waisted shorts and crop tops I think they're so fun for summer but yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think is an essential fashion item for summer okay so let's get started now when I'm going through this stuff with you guys I'm first going to show you everything that is not vegan friendly then I'll go through the stuff that is vegan friendly and kind of show you more of that stuff. Now I actually filmed this before once showing you like me actually looking at the tag and figuring out is this vegan or not and kind of like my first reactions. But when I was looking back at the film I was not happy with it. I was using my Canon T5i and for some reason I just don't like how the way it films when I'm when I am so far away from the camera. Like right now the camera is so far away from me and um, I'm using my Sony a5100 right now and I think it does a better job Overall, it's just a better camera to me. Um, the only thing is that it overheats, but I just was not happy with the quality, so I refilmed it, so that's why I already know some of this stuff. So a lot of the stuff that is not vegan friendly that I have that's part of my sweater collection is because there's wool in it. Oh, and by the way, this edition of my fashion collection is sweaters. So, And the reason why I'm starting with sweaters is because you know, we're going into the spring and summer months. You don't need your sweaters right now. So this is a perfect time to declutter. It's the first thing that I'm going to pack because I'm not going to be wearing any of these sweaters right now. It is like 80, 90 degrees right now. So I don't need these sweaters. So, um, you know, it really helps with me moving so I can declutter these, you know, see what I'm going to give away or sell. And then, you know, everything that I'm going to keep, I can just pack up right now. Okay, so let's jump into the stuff that I found out is not being friendly. This one was no surprise. It's a sweater from American Eagle. Um, but you can just tell, I started noticing that as I was going through the decluttering originally when I filmed, that you can start to feel, you know, what is not vegan friendly. If you start feeling that wool, that uh, basically that material that's going to make you itch, it's not vegan friendly. So the main reason why this one was not vegan friendly was because it had wool in it. So I think if, if you are trying to make a transition to a vegan fashion or, you, you know, you're just someone out who's going vegan fashion and going, out, going shopping for vegan fashion, that's something you really need to work, look at, look out for in the winter is, you know, sweaters that are, have wool in it. Here is another sweater that has wool in it. So this one, you know, is not vegan friendly for that reason. This is from Banana Republic. This one I can't remember. So this one is not vegan friendly, but I can't remember why. So it's like the label. So good thing I memorized every little thing. So this will be a surprise. Okay, silk. So this has silk in it. Um, which is made of, which silk is made of insect larva, so it is not vegan friendly. This is so annoying. I love this sweater, it's from White House Black Market, but the only reason why it's not vegan friendly is because there's 5% wool. It's like, did you really need to add that 5% wool? So, yep, not keeping that. Here is another sweater with wool, it's like sticks to itself, so this is from Gap, so I found out this had wool. No surprise, it can kind of feel the fact that it has wool, so that has to go. This cardigan had wool. That one has to go. And then this cardigan, so the last, like, last one, I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was wool? I don't think it was wool, though. Cotton, nylon, and cashmere. I think it's the cashmere. Let's double check. And I will list the um, link to the website that I'm referencing right now. It has, like, a list of... Um, fashion or materials and lets you know whether that material is vegan or not vegan or neutral. So for cashmere, I have a feeling that's what it was. It's made from cash it's made from goat, so it's not vegan. 
All right, so now we're going to jump into these sweaters that are vegan friendly, and I'm so excited. You know, there's a lot that aren't, a huge stack that aren't, but then I also still have a huge stack that is vegan friendly. Um, so this first sweater I really like, super cozy for the winter. It's from Forever 21. It's just this rain deer sweater, and it's actually pretty solid. Like, it feels really nice. Like, Forever 21 is a hit or miss. Sometimes you're going to find something that, like, stuff that's like a piece of crap, and then other times you're going to find stuff that's really nice and I really like this sweater I think they did a really good job with their sweaters this past year because I got two I might have got something else no I got two sweaters I think but I was happy with both I think they feel pretty solid so that was the first one and then let me just pull out the other one I got from forever 21 so here's the sweater from forever 21 this is a sweater that I got for an ugly Christmas sweater party, and I didn't end up going, but I have one now for whenever I do go. And it just has this cute little snowman, and the nose actually comes off, like, I can flop it around. Um, so I think it's really cute. They actually, I, some of the sweaters, I'm like, they're actually kind of cute, though. Like, they're not that ugly. So I didn't, I tried to pick one that was a little bit dorky, that wasn't, like, just this regular sweater, but wasn't, like, too, too crazy. It kind of, like, went middle ground. Then I have this sweater right here, which is vegan and friendly. This is from, where is it from? Hollister. So it's pretty much a long sleeve a crop top. So this is good for you wearing high-waisted jeans when it's not too cold out, but you want to be a little cozy. And then I love that it has the zip detail on the back. So I was happy to get to keep this one just because I don't really, I mean, granted, we don't really need that many crop tops for the winter or like fall months, but that's actually really nice for the fall. You can just have like some boots, high-waisted shorts, this maybe like a cute belt or something. I don't know. We'll see. I can't wait to accessorize more, get more into the fashion because I'm definitely lacking right now. Now this sweater, this one is from Delia's. So it has like kind of like you, you could make it a hood. You can just have it hanging down. It's really cute. I haven't really worn it in a while just because I've just been so awkward about how I would style it. I don't know. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions, go for it. Now, I do want to kind of, like, give you some of the materials that are on these labels. So, this one is 50% polyester and 50% rayon. So, polyester and rayon are vegan friendly. And then, let me just go back through the other ones. So, the American Eagle, or the Hollister one. Okay, so this one has cotton, acrylic, and polyester. All vegan friendly. So, this ugly, <laughs> this ugly sweater is 100% acrylic vegan friendly and then I believe this one's 100% acrylic too let's see yep this one's 100% acrylic too okay so we have this sweater next so it kind of has that flip over little neck area is I got it at Macy's this is from M collection um and it has this one button that attaches here but it doesn't like go under it's like a snap um so this was made out of where are you 100% acrylic. A lot of these sweaters are 100% acrylic. So, yeah. I was, I honestly thought all of my sweaters were going to be bad, but no. I have a good chunk. Um, and then this one is from The Loft, which I really love this color, so I'm so glad that this one worked out. So it's like a little cardigan. I wear like a white tank top with it or some sort of white shirt with it. It's really cute. Um, and, and then this one is 100% cotton. Then we have two sweaters that are like the same sweater, just different colors. So it's this one right here. It has that cowl neck that comes down. It's like a, on the, like that. I mean, I don't know. I, you probably can't even see it really well because it's a black color. Um, let me show you the tan version. So yeah, just really cute, really long, really good, nice to wear with leggings. I've worn them with work pants. And then they both are made of 100% acrylic. And the last item right here, this is like a work shirt that I wear from White House Black Market. Um, and this is made of... All right, so this one is made of rayon and nylon, so both vegan friendly. All right, so that's it for my sweater collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it interesting and helpful, especially if you're someone who's making the vegan transition or just someone who needs to declutter, whether you just want to declutter to declutter, spring cleaning, you need to move, whatever the case may be. I hope you guys found this helpful and interesting. And stay tuned for my next video. I will continue to do videos like this. I'm probably going to go over jackets next, then I'll go over tops, then I'll go over um, pants, jeans, and then maybe like sweatpants, workout clothes, pajamas, stuff like that. I'll go through everything with you guys. Um, but I just definitely wanted to start all the sweaters. I, didn't, I can just go pack those right now and get those out of the way. 
But yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!